We're rolling? When do we start rolling? Three seconds ago. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right, I'm Mr. G, Memorial High School. There's no edits. We just go straight through, all right? So, um, okay, we're doing SOLIDWORKS, and we're doing lesson number 22 for my list. Anyway, it's, let me just show you. Okay, so if you're working on SOLIDWORKS with me, lesson number 22 is the wheel. And I use a website, I'm trying to put it straight, yeah. I use a website called SOLIDWORKSTUTORIALS.COM. It's by a guy named Zach, nice guy. Actually, I don't know him, but he did a good job with the website. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> the SOLIDWORKS wheel is number, let's see. It is? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not there. It's not here? Yeah. Why, you took it out? No, it's been there. It's not, it hasn't been there. It's not on this thing? No. Nope. Oh, he must have took it out. All right, well, it's not on this list, but it's there. Okay, anyway, so we're going to make this, this cool, like, rim, right? Pretty cool. But you got to follow this sketch, but the sketch is really super hard to follow. In fact, it's not really dimensioned properly, I don't think. But anyway, so... What I did was I went ahead and I, uh, I made my own drawing. Sorry. My nose is a little stuffed up. And, uh, but anyway, I made my own drawing. And this is all the measurements you need, except there's a few missing. But it's, it's good. It's, it's pretty close to good. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, one of my students asked, oh, what's going on here? Like, how come I can't do this? Uh, so what was the question you had specifically? That how did it get from there to like how Peter had it? Okay, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at his sketch. We're going to edit, right? So when I go here, I edit the sketch, right? So I already see a whole bunch of problems. You basically made this with no measurements. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, he didn't say it loudly, but he said yes. Okay, so that means I can change anything. I can change anything. So nothing is valid. This is a good shape, but it's actually not... There's nothing to it. Oh, except for these are parallel. That's good. Okay. Very good right there. So let's put some dimensions in. That's a really simple thing to do. So the first dimension I'm going to put in is from here to here is uh, one inch. Okay. And uh, so that's easy. That's just on the top right here. Right. And the second dimension uh, is going to be... Um, the degrees is going to be 17.35 degrees. So that would be from here in the center to one of these bars. And then you just type it in, 17.35. Okay. Now, why is this so far apart? But yet in the drawing, it doesn't look that way. Uh, the reason why is because of the, the, the 8 inches from the top to the, to the base here. So let's just take a look at that. Um, so we go to measurement from here to here, right there it's, <coughs> sorry, I'm sick this week. <coughs> sorry, but that's 1.7, that shouldn't be, that's eight inches, pow! Big difference now, right? So um, this one here, this should go all the way down. This one here, unnecessary, doesn't do anything. This one here, it should go very close to the bottom, but not all the way. And then, um, let's see, this one here comes in like this. So we got some problems here. We got some problems that we need to fix. We got to put this one back here, put this one over here. This one goes here. Now, for some reason, there's a parallel thing here. We're going to get rid of that. Okay. All right, and uh, now why won't this come down, right? Oh yeah, it will, right there. That's good. Okay, so we're, we're getting somewhere. That was like a big jump, right? So when you have measurements that are completely off, it's gonna be a big jump when you do get them correct. Uh, so that's okay. So now this one here, this has a bend to it like that. Okay, so going back to the drawing. Now we know that from, from here to here, is 0.30, right? So we're going to take this here. We're going to say, all right, fine. So from here to here, uh, I can't see. Hold on a there we go. Okay, so that'll be 0.30. 
And then that's important, right? Uh, what about from, from here to here is 0.380, right? So we're gonna say, okay, so from the center to the side, that's gonna be uh, 3.8, sorry, I, I know I said 380, but I messed up. And then that goes, this one should be here. We could put it here. This one could come down, that's okay. Actually, you can make that center line infinite. Infinite, and it doesn't matter, okay. Now, this one we know goes right here, okay. And now what about this? How come this one's in blue, right? Anything in blue needs to get fixed. So I'm gonna take my measurement, my smart dimension, click here and click here, and I've got 16.8, it's supposed to be 15. Enter. So now that's still a problem, right? Because look, how come I can do this, right? <clears throat> that shouldn't be. So that's okay, we'll just go back into the measurements and there's actually something missing there. So what we'll do is we'll go back into the tutorials and we'll see, okay, what I do is I just crank it up from 100%, we we'll go to 400 and just take a look. Uh, da, 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 da. So from here, 15%. Oh, okay, so the height of that is 0.30 as well. Okay, so that's, that's simple. So then, so from here to the deck, is going to be 0.30. I mean, it's not the best way to mention it, but that's okay. Well, I don't care. I didn't design this thing. I'm just showing you how to use the program. Okay? And I can cinch this up, or I could put it here. See, that's more, you know? You always want to put stuff where it's more comfortable. So you could, you could say, all right, maybe this is more comfortable. Okay. And then, uh, <clears throat> now, what's left? Just these corners, right? I don't need to do both. I could just do this one. And so let's just look at the measurements uh, from my drawing, or here. So up and down is 50, side to side is 20, and then there's a 19 for that piece, okay. So uh, let's do this one, 0.5, right? This way, do you remember, 0.20? And very critical, from here to here, not this way, but this way is 0.19, which is a strange measurement, okay? Now it's all black over here. Now I don't need these. I don't need this. I'm gonna delete it. I don't need this, I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete it. This, I don't need it, okay? I don't even need this one. I could put this here, and that one I need, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I've got everything I need on this side, and I know it's the same. How do I know it's the same? Because when you don't, if you don't put the dimension, <clears throat> it's, in, it's implied. <coughs> Sorry, I feel sick today. But this is, this is implied that it's a mirror of that. Okay, otherwise they would have specified differently. So I'll, even though it was the other side, I just flipped it. It doesn't matter. It's mirrored. So I say, oh, the mirror's like, whoa, what do you, what do you want? What, do you, what entity? So I'm like, okay, this one, this one this one, and, and this one. And then they're like, well, what, where's the center? Where's the mirror? Right here. Now take a look. There it is, right? Okay, and all I gotta do is say green check. Now notice there's a problem over here. This guy needs to be put back in check right there. And that's it. That's it, look at this thing, all black. Ready to go. So you'd say, check, and then you'd say, <clears throat> this is, you know what this is? This is the, the profile, okay? And with 3D printers, you could probably print this rim. Imagine you could print in metal, maybe in the next decade you print in metal and make your own rims at home for your car, all right? So now what we're gonna do is uh, features, we're gonna do revolve. It says, what do you wanna revolve? I'll say the profile, which is now in orange. Right, so orange, orange, gray, orange, gray, orange, gray, orange. <clears throat> and then the massive question, where's your access of rotation? Where's, where's the center? Pow! Booyakasha, green check, and rotate thing, thing, and then you gotta go like this. Ah, ah, 
you got to pretend like it's in outer space. And then it looks weird until you hit perspective. <clears throat> I have a terrible voice because I'm, I'm sick and also I have a terrible voice. Now, if you want to, you could also cut this thing and take a look at it, you know? So you could be like, oh, this is cool. Whoa, whoa. You could be like, what? How do we get it going the other way? Uh, okay, let's see. Hold on. Reverse. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Ready? I don't know why SOLIDWORKS doesn't have noise making stuff in their program, so I have to do it, which I know you guys are enjoying so much. Anyway, so that's how to do it. I'm going to delete this Revolve now because I'm not doing it for him. And also, you have everything saved or not? No. Oh, you just got to start over, buddy. Now, there's a reason that I delete everything. And my student is crying right now. There's a reason I delete everything. And the reason is because I'm not the doer. I'm the teacher of this class. So I want people to learn how to do this thing and not just say, oh, okay, the teacher did it for me. Believe me, it makes you stronger. Whatever doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. All right, so don't cry too much. It's fine. Okay, he said it's fine. Okay, he's, he's tough. He's tough. All right, so that's how to do lesson number 22 for my lessons. It's, it's called the, the SolidWorks Wheel in Tutorials. SolidWorksTutorials.com. Not my, not my website, but it's a good one. All right, Memorial High School, Mr. G. See you later.